meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, another cold and quiet night right now. Skies are clear, temperatures dropping through the mid-20s, and live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar just verifies that we're not finding any precipitation. There goes the radar beam scanning the sky in real time, and again, not finding uh, any snow. But boy, snow, the big weather word across the mid-Atlantic coastline uh, by tomorrow and especially the weekend. But the dry air is still in control here, so not anticipating any stormy weather, though we are watching that ocean storm on Saturday. Will it come close enough? It still looks like the thrust of it or the brunt of this storm is actually going to be too far offshore or out to sea to be a major factor here. But at the same time, it's still worth watching closely. And we'll give you some insight as to how Saturday may play out around here in just a second. Downtown Providence, clear skies, 26. Bit of a wind chill now at 18 with a west breeze at 8. Uh, humidity levels remain very, very dry now, coming in at 36%. Low 20s in Smithfield, Worcester's down at 19. I do expect some spots to be dropping into the upper teens during the overnight hours. 27, both Newport and Westerly. The block checks in at 28. And our friends in New Bedford, clear skies, 26 degrees. Now, notice off to our south and west, you see this little area of gray and white. These are very high, thin clouds, so if the sun were out right now, it would shine right through. So uh, we'll start to see these clouds streaming in for tomorrow, so eventually the sun may be dimmed by late in the afternoon, but staying dry because high pressure, a fair weather system is in control, so not anticipating any problems for your Friday. So overnight tonight, clear to partly cloudy by 5 o'clock in the morning, dropping off to around, say, 19, 20, 21 degrees by daybreak. Bus stop forecast will feature at least some hazy sunshine, a chilly start to the day, kids heading out to school between 7 and 8.30, looking at 19 to 23. And then during the afternoon, that gradual increase in the cloud cover, so it'll go from a mostly sunny sky to partly sunny, looking at afternoon high temperatures around 32, 33 degrees. Northwest breezes tomorrow at light speeds at around 5 to 10, so not as blustery as it was today. Mid-30s along the south shore to the lower 30s in our northern suburbs, Burrowville, Situate, Johnston, and Cumberland all coming in around the freezing mark. Mid-30s across the Cape and the Islands. New Bedford at 34 and Taunton 32 degrees. All right, jump ahead to Saturday. Big snowstorm likely for D.C., south of New York City and Philadelphia. The area of real heavy snow shaded in blue stays just offshore by a mere 200 miles. So bottom line, we miss a pretty big snowstorm by only a couple of hundred miles, but close enough to give us some gusty wind, cold temperatures, and perhaps either light snow showers or flurries along the south shore on Saturday with the worst of the storm staying out to sea. Still worth watching though next couple of uh, next 24 hours just for the simple fact that a little jog to the north would certainly put accumulating snow into our area but at this point we're calling it a miss with just a grazing of either flurries or snow showers along the coastline only. A windy and cold day at 29. Back to sunshine on Sunday with a high of 30. Monday looks fine. Snow lovers you get another chance the middle of next week around Wednesday the chance of snow and a temperature at uh, 32 but some pretty impressive snowfall totals south of New York City uh, over the weekend. And we'll keep you updated, but for now, it's a miss. Okay, and just want to say a quick congratulations to Hazel and Shaque Kazarian. Yeah. Received the Woman of the Year Award from Big Brothers tonight. So Congratulations, then. Yeah.